Hey, what's up guys? Today in this video, I'm going to show you how I configured Google Analytics on our Next.js application. So after doing my live session, I wanted to refactor a few things, as I mentioned in the video. And the first thing which I thought will be a good point to add is first get the Google Analytics in place because now it's on a live domain. So let's see how many users are actually going to that app and you know, playing around with it. So now if you look at our application, I have made certain code changes and hence my dashboard gives me a title latest videos in this application. And if I click on the submit video link, the title changes to submit your video for moderation. So these are the titles which I have added. It's quite straightforward. However, I would like you to understand how this was achieved. So let's go to Visual Studio Code. Um, there are how many? Seven files which I have changed. Okay. And I would like to tell you that this article on this blog post really helped me understand how Google Analytics is added inside a Next.js application. So you can also refer to this, but if you are someone who likes to have a visual you know, tutorial to work with, then you are most welcome to go through this video. All right, so let's go through the changes one by one. So I have an ENV file where I have added my Google Analytics code. Okay, this is what I have as the property ID. Now, to add this property ID, right, in Google Analytics, we need to add a script tag. And in that script tag, Google adds its basic code. Okay. But then inside a Next.js application, we can't just do that. So what is the alternative? The idea is you create a document.js file. Okay, let me, I think it, you can do a TypeScript as well, but for now, let's keep it a JavaScript file. I'll try to make it as a TypeScript file later. Hmm. For some reason, my prettier is not working properly. Can you see? And this is head. Anyways, but the idea is that we create a class which extends the document component from next slash document. Okay. And we name it my document. It has a render function, obviously. And inside the render function, we have HTML, we have head tag. Okay. And inside the head tag, we have our script. This is the code which is importing the Google Tag Manager JavaScript or the G tag, which is the latest thing. Okay. Let me see if I, I somehow, right, I can't stand this unformatted code. So let me see if I can get it into working. No, it still gives me an issue. So I'll have to see what is happening. Maybe it needs a bracket. That's this is the last thing I will try and see if this works. No, it doesn't. So I'll have to do something about it. I'll check that. But you get the point. So we have this script tag, then we have the second script tag where we are setting uh, some HTML with this attribute dangerously set in HTML. And this is the, I would say, the Google tag or the JavaScript call, which we need to make for the analytics to work. And in both this script tags, you can see the only thing which is variable is process.env.nextpublic Google Analytics. This is the exact value which I have inside my .env file. And I will add that in my Versals section as well. But yeah, this is what needs to be done. Okay. And then I close the head tag. I start the body tag. I have main next script. 
okay this is exactly what the documentation said okay and then let's see what else i have done now i created this component right now how will next know that you know this component needs to be taken care of so inside the app.js what i did is obviously you know i imported router okay and inside the use effect i added this function okay that handle route change and on that i have a ga preview now how does this ga come this is one more file which i have added inside the lib folder it has two functions one is page view and the second is event i haven't used event yet page view is something which i have used so far okay it takes two parameters the config rather three so the config then the code and then inside the third parameter we are saying page path is the url and the url is something which we are sending as a parameter when we are calling this function right we go to our app.js we are sending the url this url is available to us when routes.event.on route change complete is called okay and we are also um kind of switching off the event when the you know component is unmounted otherwise we can have multiple instances of that event being you know listened to okay so far so good so this is the use effect thing we have our function definition over here we have routes event on and then unmount is handling this code okay our use effect is only going to be called when there is any change inside routes dot event router dot event rather okay and rest everything remains same so this is the change which i have done in app.js underscore app.js rather and yes these two names are very important otherwise you may see that your code is not working okay with that done i could see a repetition of code where on every page i had to add that head tag or um, to add the page title i'll show you how the head tag was added so this is um, i'm sorry let me open up the file so what i have done is inside the layout i am now passing a prop which is an optional prop string format called page title okay and if i have something in page title i open up the head tag and in the title i'm sending page title otherwise it won't do anything so inside the dashboard when i use the layout i pass this prop and also where is the second page view submit okay i don't need to open it up like this in the layout of video submit i have this as the title now what happens is whenever i make any page views the google analytics reflects those changes and it tells me that yes you know there is page views for example let me go to video submit or submit video i go to dashboard kind of reload the page again go to this page come back and now if i hit the analytics page in some time it should start reflecting the events which took place okay so it was 8 and 15 and then suddenly it is 13 and 24 so you can understand that there were quite a few things which were happening it could guess that there were four page views and then the next one had five page views and these are events right yes latest videos in our application these two pages got a page views now obviously 13 and 11 not, are not exactly what i did in front of you i was adding the code and i was experimenting with it testing it to ensure that it is properly done 
But yes, that's about it. That's how I configured Google Analytics on this Next.js application to track page views. So thanks for watching guys. If you like the video, do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.